today is Wednesday. Let's get right into our math lesson. All right. So, Poppy and Branch. Oh, Poppy and Branch, they were trying to save some trolls. They had 17 trolls to save. And Branch was like, how are we going to save 17 trolls, Poppy? And Poppy was like, aha, I have it. Number bonds. And Branch was like, number bonds? Poppy was like, yeah, don't you remember? Number bonds help us make and break apart numbers. We've got 17 trolls we're trying to save, so that is our whole, that's our big number that we're trying to break apart. So, she's like, 17 is our whole, and that's when Branch was like, a -ba, I have it. He was like, oh, and one of our parts can be 10, because 10 helps us make and break apart numbers more easily. And Poppy was like, yeah, exactly, because then we know that the 7 is just hiding that 0 from Captain Hide 0. So the other part is 7. 10 and 7 make 17. Easy peasy. All right. Let's take a quick look at that, Kipsters. So, remember, with our number bonds, our whole is always the biggest number, and then we're trying to break it apart into two smaller numbers. So today, we're going to be breaking apart those T numbers into a 10 and another number. So just think about everything that we talked about yesterday in our hide zero lesson. So let's say our number is 18. I really know that that eight is hiding a zero from what we talked about yesterday. And so the one of the parts is going to be 10. Oh my goodness, I do this every time. E, 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 e. 18, so it's not backwards for you. And we'll just move this one over here. And 10. So we've got 18 and 10. And so then I know that the eight is my group of ones that's high in the zero and the 10. So my other part is eight. Now, when we have our individual practice making the number bonds, they'll be a little bit clearer for you to see. This is the more challenging part. But remember, our whole is always the biggest number and we're breaking it apart into the two smaller numbers. And an easy trick to remember today is one of the parts is always going to be 10. All right. Today we're going to practice modeling and writing numbers 10 through 20 using number bonds. So there's two different ways that we're going to do this. So we're either going to be shown a hide zero card, so the 10 and the 2, and when I have a hide zero card, first I'm going to hide the 0, so slide that 2 to cover the 0, and that gives me the number 12. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to think about, oh, one of my parts was 10 and then the other part was 2 and fill in my parts in the number bond. It was 10 and, 10 and 2 are the two parts I put together to make 12. Or they're going to show us five group cards. So when I see a five group card all filled up like this, I automatically know that's 10. Or if you need to count it, no big deal. Go ahead and count that. So I can count 10 and then count on over here. I can either go 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, or I can count 11, 12, 13. And so when I count them all together, I know that's going to be my whole, my biggest number. And then I'm going to go back over here, and I know my first five group card, that gives me 10 as my first part. And then my second one had three in it, and so three is my second part. I also know that that three is hiding the zero up here. Awesome. Okay. Here's our challenge. You're going to look now at these five group cards and you're going to go ahead and write your number bond and then come back and check it against ours and see if you got it. Let's save some trolls.
All right, you ready? Let's see. So our hole is what? 15. Oh, thanks, Pappy. Our hole is 15. So if we counted all of our dots, so we've got our full 10 frame over here. And then we've got five more. So it's actually really easy. I've got three groups of five. I've got 10 and five more is 15. Or I can count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom. And remember, Branch had the brilliant idea to use one of the parts as 10 because it makes it easier for us to make and break apart numbers. So we've got 10, and that's from our first five, five group frame. That's all filled up. So we know 5 and 5 makes 10. And then our second part over here was 5. We know that 5 is hiding the 0 from Captain Hide 0. Bum, bum, bum. So give yourself a little pat on the back if you got this first number bond. 15 broken apart into 10 and 5. All right. Before we go, next one, remember for IXL, you're going to be filling in 10 frames this week to match numbers. When I think about that, I can either do it one by one or I can think about how a whole row is five. So we've got five here, five here, and five here. So if I know that I'm filling up the whole row, I can just click to add in five instead of just doing one at a time. All right, Ooh, now we've got hide zero cards. So using our hide zero cards, to fill out this number bond, thinking about hiding the zero to get the whole, and then what are the two parts? G, O, go. All right, awesome. If you need another second to make the number bond, just pause the video, we're gonna get going. So we know that we're hiding that zero to make the whole, so the six, it's going to cover the zero, and it's going to give us 16. All right. And then as Branch told us, the part has to be 10. It's 10 right here. That's definitely a part. And then the heart that's hiding the zero is our six. Hide the zero, mateys. Don't forget it. So our other part was six. So give me your arr. We are the best if you matched this number bond. All right, next one. This one's a little more challenging. I threw it in there to see if I could trick any of you. If you need to count all of those dots there to fill out the number bond, go for it. If you can count it a faster way, go for that too. I'll give you a couple of seconds to fill out your number bond. Think about what are the parts, what is the whole. All right, if you're still working on it, pause the video and start it back up when you're ready. Let's think about that whole. So, when I have the whole, I have to count everything. So, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can do that. Or I can look at this and say, this five group card is full, so that's 10. This five group card is full, so that's 10. And so I know that if I have two tens, that that is 20. So our whole is 20, no matter which way you chose to count to get there. And so now breaking apart 20, we know for sure that one group is 10. But this is where it gets really tricky because there's a zero here and this has a two. So we can't make Captain Hyde zero happy, but we can remember 10 way. Remember, 10 way would say that this is two tens. 
So our other part is 10. So we've got 110 here and 110 here. So 20, I take out 110 and then I take out the other 10. So I've got 10 and 10 makes 20. So again, when I'm thinking about this, if I was building 20 in IXL, I would put in a group of five, put in a group of five, put in a group of five, put in a group of five. So I've got four groups of five that I could put in to make 20 instead of having to count it out one by one. All right, last one for today. Let's see how fast you can get this number bond, G-O, go. Did you hide the zero that fast? O-M-G. All right, let's take a look. This should have been super speedy since we've done this several times already. Let's see. When I have 10 and 9 and I'm hiding the zero, that gives us what? 19! You got it! Woohoo! All right. Easy peasy. And then we know our part is what? 10. You got it. 10 for branch. And then our last part, the part that is hiding that zero in the of the 10 and 19 is the 9. Hide that zero from me or you'll walk the plank. Boom. So 19 broke it apart. Our parts are 10 and 9. So, so easy. Kipsters Branch and Poppy want to remind you that when you are breaking apart a bigger number, it is the easiest thing to do if you are pulling out a 10 and thinking about what number is hiding that zero for the ones. All right, Kipsters, you did a fabulous job today. I can't wait to see how well you're doing on IXL, building those numbers on the 10 frames and the five group cards. And we will see you again tomorrow. Take care.